Allah, you follow. Allah said, "Etabiu." Allah did not just encourage you. Allah command all of us to follow the way of Allah. If you want to be safe. And after following Allah's way, Allah said, "Wala tatabiu subula." Don't mix up with other ways. When you follow the way of Allah, don't follow other ways. Allah do not allow people to follow His way. In the same time, they follow other ways. No, like. La ilaha illallah, la sharika lak. When you worship Allah, don't make any partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just directly. Wa ana hadha sarati mustaqima, tattabi'uhu, wa la tattabi'uhu. Subhanallah. This is what Allah said. And the Prophet explained to us how to save our iman. Do you like me to share with you the way to save our iman, brothers? I don't hear you. Can you do it like me? The Prophet said one day, "Whoever want to have a sound iman, whoever want to have a sound iman, whoever want to have the right iman, whoever want to protect their iman, like how we protect our children, protect our car, you buy insurance, you do this, you do that, you have all the alarm here, all the security CCTV because you want to protect yourself." Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man ahabba lillah wa abghada lillah wa a'ta lillah wa ma'a lillah wa qad istakhmala al-imah Allah wa ta'ala Whoever love for the sake of Allah hate for the sake of Allah give for the sake of Allah and Withhold for the sake of Allah, then his iman is complete. It's sound. Meaning, you love what Allah loves. That's what we understand by love for the sake of Allah. And why I'm all the du'a is calling all the ummah to go back to the Quran and Sunnah. Because Allah said, "Kul in kuntum tuhibun Allah, fatbiuni yubikum Allah wa yaqfir lakum zunubatum Allah wa furrah." Oh Muhammad, tell to the people whoever claim that they love Allah, claim, claim, I love Allah. What do you say? I love Allah. Do we love Allah? Yes. Fatbiuni. Allah said to Muhammad, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam." Tell the people who claim that they love Allah, they must follow your teaching. They must follow your teaching. Without following the teaching of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you cannot claim that you love Allah. Allah put a condition. But the only that's why following the Sunnah is essential. It's a must. It's not optional. And that's why Allah said, "Fatabi'uni yahbikum Allah wa yaqfir lakum zunubat." Whoever follow my messenger, then I will love him. That's what love Allah. Follow what Allah command. Whatever the Prophet hate, we must hate. If the Prophet hate bid'ah, we cannot say bid'ah is hasan. You must say bid'ah dala. Whatever Allah hate, we must hate. Allah hate riba, we cannot say riba is okay. Allah hate kamar, we cannot say kamar is no big problem. Allah hate fitna, we cannot say fitna is common. Allah hate gossiping, we cannot say gossiping is part of our life. It's like having tea and coffee. Normally, people have high tea with gossiping. While having coffee and drink, you talk about people. <coughs> give for the sake of Allah. Give. Anybody call you to support any good cause? The cause that calling people back to Allah and the Prophet Quran and Sunnah. We must support them. We must get in war. You have the time. Your time. Whatever knowledge you have, you can support with your knowledge. 
money with money. Don't be selfish. Everybody is thinking of themselves. They don't think of Allah. By thinking of yourself, you cannot save yourself. By thinking of Allah, do what Allah will. Allah will save everybody. We have been very selfish, brother and sister. We put our life more important than Islam. What is our life without Islam? There's nothing. So we must put Islam ahead now. Then everything will come back, inshallah. Wa mana alillah, please. The Prophet said, never, never get involved in supporting anything that displeases Allah and again the teaching of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Don't do it. If you do not know what displeases Allah, you must attend classes. Not any class. Like what in the Khaim al Zawdi said, knowledge is wajib for all of us to seek. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every male and female Muslim, young and old, rich and poor. And in the same time, what did the Prophet talk about knowledge? When knowledge is concerned, it's not just any knowledge because pure knowledge is what Allah said in the Quran, 100% true. And what the Prophet has said in his hadith sahih is 100% true. That is pure knowledge. Opinion is knowledge. My idea, my opinion, my feeling is not knowledge. What Allah said is pure knowledge. What the Prophet said is pure knowledge. And that's what we are teaching all the brothers and sisters here. Please. Uh, BGM 2652 Silver Tenali and WJP 4821 Black Purana. Please, uh, can we remove your car from the road? Please remove your car from the road. Make your car is blocking. La darah wa la darah. La darah wa la darah. Always remember that. When we park our vehicle in any place, make sure that we do not cause inconvenience to other people. If we have to move it further, we have to move it further. Fellow brothers and sisters, before I come to an end, I want to end as soon as possible. But we know that our guest speaker is still on the way, inshallah. Still on the way. And we must also show mercy to him. He has been yeah, too packed getting involved in a lecture, morning, evening. Normally, when people invite me to overseas, I, I remind them every three days, one day break. We are not machine. Remember, our ourselves, our body have right upon us. You know, sometimes we forget. When we invite people, we want the maximum from them. And it's not fair for them. Give them a break. Since Bilal arrived, when he arrived in the airport, he called me. Before getting out from immigration, I just arrived. Before he came, he had been communicating with me many, many times. Until today, I never see him yet. Because I do not want to disturb him. Yeah, Dahi, when he arrived, he needs good rest. Then he needs to know what he has to say to the people. And what is the need of the people. From him, this is important. Now, what is very important, like I said just now, seek knowledge is very important. And the Prophet remind us why. I share with you a very important thing in the Prophet again. One day, the Prophet said, None of us can enter paradise. If deep in your heart, in our heart, there is an atom science of Kibir. If anybody of us were here in his heart have the atom of Kibir, he will not enter paradise. And then the Prophet's companion asked him, 
Ya Rasulullah, if we love to dress expensive garments, if we love to wear expensive shoes, like belly, thousand, somebody wear their, 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 their suit, I ask them, how much is that? Very cheap. How much? 17,000. Oh, 17,000 cheap? Maybe. How about your shoes? My shoes is cheap too. 12,000. Shoes 12,000, garment 17,000, 29,000 is cheap. Of course, for the billionaire, what is 27,000? For, for all of us, 1,000 air, of course, is expensive. <laughs> for the billionaire, it's not expensive. There's nothing wrong. Yeah? There's nothing wrong to be, to, to be good, to dress good. There's nothing wrong. Anybody who want to come to the market with a helicopter, there's nothing wrong. You want to drive a Ferrari, nothing wrong. If you're worried, send it to me, I will drive. <laughs> well, you think the Dai must just ride an old car? A Dai must have the best transportation. But the world has changed, you know, a Dai, no, no, no. You cannot do it, you go for Akhirah. You know, take a small bike, a motor. <laughs> uh, this is the real Akhirah man. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> so the Prophet said, In Allah Jameen. In Allah Jameen. Allah is beautiful. You have good jama and He loves beautiful things. Allah. Allah is beautiful and He loves beautiful things. This is good. But Kibir, what is Kibir? People don't understand. And the Arabs, the companion asked the prophet, it's an Arabic word. Why do they ask the prophet? Because they do not want to misinterpret the word of the prophet. So the prophet said, Al-Qibr, Batar al-Haq. Number one, if you want to know whether you have this disease of Qibr in your heart or not, the prophet said, number one sign is Batar al-Haq. You reject the truth. When the truth have conveyed to you, when the truth is known to you, this is right, and what they do is wrong, what you say is wrong, you know, you ignore it. You reject the truth. This is trivial. Number one. Number two, trivial, that will not allow us to enter paradise is Ramtha'lannas. Meaning a person who likes to look down upon another person. A person who likes to humiliate another person. Somebody may come to you, brother, please. We are going to pray Jama'ah and the Prophet said, Staw sufu fakum. Straighten your robe. Close the gaps among yourself. Shoulder to shoulder, feet to feet. Leave no gaps. This is what the Prophet wants you to do in Saab. And then some young brother may come and try to adjust us, push us, get close. We may hold our body and adjust us. Stay close to each other. There is an aura, there is an energy going on when you perform the prayer. When you close the gap between yourself, shoulder to shoulder, feet to feet, you will experience the energy. But sometimes, you will see some stubborn people. They don't want to move. 